at any point of time there would be one group of christians who would not be able to find the time to study the bible systematically and there would be another group of christians who had read the bible even many times but are unable to remember the salient points in the bible it is precisely to cater to both these groups of people that these daily programs called learn the bible on the fundamental truths from each book of the bible are prepared in both audio and script formats and sent every day we request you to kindly make use of these programs every day to grow and know in god and our beloved lord jesus christ more and more according to john 17:3 and be assured of receiving the greatest gift of god the eternal life from him please pray that the lord would raise many people to translate these programs both in the audio and script formats into many languages of the world so that millions would learn the bible quickly and get saved by our beloved lord jesus christ god bless you all learn the bible series program number 95 the bible depths notes part 7 portion 2 pages 3 4 4 general introduction to the books of epistles lesson 2 because the apostles of lord jesus did not guide paul what did he do galatians 1 14 to 19 he went to arabia and damascus and stayed there for the next 3 years he returned to jerusalem only after 14 years spending his entire time with lord jesus after that he made three long missionary journeys and all his epistles were also written by him only 14 years after his encounter with lord jesus how many epistles has paul written 13 excluding the book of hebrews Out of these 13 epistles Paul had written 9 books to the various churches and 4 to the individuals Apostle Paul never thought that his books would become the scriptures of the holy god later on Most of his books were dictated by him while walking across in his room and written down by his assistants Paul must have dictated these verses with several thoughts in his mind that is why the arrangement of some of his sentences are not orderly sometimes making us difficult to grasp what he says if he were aware that his very words would become scriptures later on he might have made his sentences more orderly and also tuned them with a flowery language the letters that paul had written to the various churches were not given any importance till about the year 90 ad only in that year the bible scholars came to know that they were not ordinary letters but they contained many deep spiritual lessons from god to mankind so they began gathering all his letters some of his letters had not been preserved and had also been totally lost moreover they did not know the chronological order of his letters and so they kept them in the same order according to the time they received them in addition the bible was only like two continuous essays one the old testament and the other the new testament till the 13th century the bible scholars divided the bible into chapters in the 13th century ad and into verses only in the 16th century so at that time they might have also displaced some passages in paul's letters to do this in a smooth manner which adds to our confusions though this small drawback is found in paul's epistles the lord holy spirit is still using all paul's books to teach the believers clearly some very deep and great applications 
of the truths taught by Lord Jesus for the last nearly 20 centuries. All of Paul's epistles were not only helpful to the various churches to which he had written them, but are also helpful to edify us believers in the 21st century. We shall study some portions from each book of his books to make us grow spiritually. God willing, we shall learn the book of Romans in our next program. God bless you all.